In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about buildings that have widespread bedbug infestations and what to do to get on top of the problem. Look at all those units. everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And what I want to talk to you about today is entire buildings or communities that have widespread bedbug problems and how to get them back to where they need to be, which is of course only a handful or no bedbug problems. And so as shocking as it is to many people watching this video, there are buildings and communities that have very widespread bedbug problems where you have, you know, 10, 20, even 30% infestation rates across entire communities. And you know, when it gets that bad, it, it's a very difficult problem to tackle because you know, it's very expensive. You know, you could be talking about $100,000, $200,000 to treat all those infestations and get rid of them. But the big problem is, is that a lot of times in those situations, the management or whoever it might be is treating infestations as they're being reported. And that is the true problem at play there, where there are infestations on the property that people aren't reporting that are probably pretty bad and are actually causing all of those issues that are being seen. And so what I want to talk to you about real quickly is how do you handle it? How do you get it back to zero? And unfortunately, the only real way to do this is really take a census or a, you know, a, try to get a snapshot of exactly what's going on in the entire community. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about monitors and you can even start with the visual inspection. So obviously I'm going to talk a little bit about blackout, which is an under the leg interception device, volcano, which is under the bed. But you know, there are other devices out there. I always recommend people go out and do their research. And honestly, you could even just start with a visual inspection. That'll probably tell you a lot about what you need to know. So we're in a hotel here. Hotels are no different than apartment communities. So I'm using this just as an example. You can pretend that this is a hotel, I mean, an apartment, it's all the same. And so what we'll do is quick go out in the hall. I'm going to talk a little quieter because this is an active hotel. And so what we have here is your typical situation where you've got units running all the way down the hall. What will happen is that, you know, in a situation like this, you'll have Mrs. Johnson in this apartment that has this raging bed bug infestation that she's not reporting for whatever the reason may be. The bugs are walking right out the front door and going into the surrounding units, such as across the hall in Mr. Jones' apartment or down the hall or whatever it might be. Now, Mr. Jones might actually report the problem but Mrs. Johnson doesn't. And as long as Mrs. Johnson has that infestation, she's gonna to continue to infest other units, the common areas inside the building. It could even go as far as the public bus system or whatever the case may be. And so the issue is she's not reporting the problem. And that's where the monitors and the visual, visual inspections come into play. So if you look down the hall, we're gonna go into every single apartment and we're gonna install these monitors or do visual inspections as need be. And we're gonna come back and check them periodically. What that's going to do is it's going to give us basically census data. It's going to tell us exactly where bedbugs are and aren't, regardless of people reporting the problem. And that is the trick to this. And so what we would then do is go in and obviously treat each infestation that's found. But what you're doing is you're getting on top of the problem. And this is all data that was created and basically Rutgers University has shown that this does work, where they have taken um, housing authorities from a 15% infestation rate down to 2% or less in only a year's time. And so this truly does work. Now, obviously, it's an upfront investment to do it, whether it's the monitors or the time, whatever the case may be, but it doesn't always have to be just the pest control company or just the housing authority or whoever it is doing the work. It can be a split task thing where maybe the pest control company is dealing with the infestations and the management company is actually inspecting and managing the monitors. The bottom line is you have to try to get a feel for what's going on on the property. And the only way to do that is to get into every single apartment. Again though, ultra effective and we'll get the community where it needs to be. So if you have any questions on managing bed bugs in entire buildings and getting on top of really bad widespread problems, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I hope to see everybody soon enough.